All right, everybody. Welcome back to another uh, exciting Ancient Cave matchup. Uh, let's turn this up a little bit. All right, let's get this thing going. Um... Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Uh, another uh, elimination match, so it's do or die for the racers. I appreciate that, Ness Rocker. Uh, yeah, should be a good one. Uh, Ori, obviously an AC god himself, but uh, IQ taking down Andy Perfect, another uh, AC god. Got his got his name in the credits, so. Uh, no small task. IQ taking down Andy, so uh, it's gonna be a match between the God and the God Killer. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let's get the predictions going. Uh, as you can see, f special flags tonight. Long distance plus Bubble Monkey. Let's start this prediction. Hurry. Uh, IQ. It's some both. Who to root for? It is impossible. Uh, long follow distance. Kind of an interesting one. Um, I don't think it's like the worst drawback. Having the bubble monkey is definitely terrible. But uh, long distance, there we go. Easy greens. I think we'll see a lot of that. Oh, or he's already skipped a floor, apparently. Let's change that. Looks like we won't be able to get timers too synced up, unfortunately, but that's okay. We might, uh, the, the lag might line them up as we, as we get deeper into this one. Oh, rooting for Earthbound just feels bad. We got some pretty nice, uh, Floor 1 music here. Both runners going for a mostly, mostly Froge squad. I like the Tenda and IQ's party. Can't help but feel like that's a nod. Hey, what's up, Anda? Ooh. Sentry robot for IQ. Did he skip a floor or something? How did... Usually those robots don't... He shouldn't show up on floor one. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Ooh, a backstage pass for Ori. Not bad. It's certainly awkward for a, uh, a scripted fight to show up on floor one. Not sure what happened there. We're gonna find out what we're up against. Nightmare on seven. Otherwise, not bad. Starman DX is somewhat tough, but it's not Doggo. We got a nightmare in there. Probably the only only two big threats there. Uh, floor one loot pretty useless typically. You gotta check just in case you get something nice. Ooh, or are we finding a skip? Um, he has a backstage. Oh no, that's a show ticket. Never mind. We can still get back through, but this is automatically forward anyway. And honestly, not too bad. Fighting a couple of sharks here. Gain gains a couple quick levels before you take off to whatever floor this is going to be. Uh, 
I'm still somewhat curious about that uh, century robot fight IQ got into. Ooh, these Mega Mans. Uh, looks like it's only three. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, and we got the boss already. I imagine Ori goes for this. Little, little creep, creep. Oh, it's four. It's a little scary. Oh, maybe... Maybe that's the... The way IQ went before. And that's how he ended up with this fight. Oh, and it's freeze resistant? That is awful. That would be a sick mechanic. Oh, that is brutal. Um, it, at least this isn't like a floor one boss, but... Wow, GG's. That was not an easy fight. Oh, IQ finding out what the bosses are. Yeah, Nightmare and DX on 7 and 8 are pretty much the only threats. Um... I assume IQ found the same skip or he did, I just didn't see it. Um, and that's why he's kind of sort of avoiding it right now. Because he doesn't want to deal with that mess. I don't blame him. Oh, good luck with the testing, Rizu. it is fruitful. Fruitful testing. Ooh, we got some we got some pretty good songs this season so far. Megalocrachia. I know that. That's some Megalovania remix. Maybe not Megalocrachia. Oh no carrot key for IQ unfortunately. Hieroglyph fights is everything. No, not everything, but a lot of freeze resistance going on here. Nice. That's a tough fight to get through. There's been a couple pretty hard scripted fights so far. Flame pendant, nice. And like floor four is when we start seeing some pretty decent loot. Or actually floor five. We were on four. Um, but yeah, five is definitely where you want to start finding some loot. Five and onwards. A little mini hub for Ori. A couple vendors. No oh, BBRs. Try to sell some stuff. Oh wow. He just snap sold. I, I didn't even see what the item was, but clearly it was really good. Um, pretty, pretty smart move. Gonna be able to load up on BBRs and honestly, the right, around, right amount of BBRs makes both the bosses on 7 and 8 not too bad. It's not ideal, but it, it certainly helps. Of course, Ori buys some snakes. That's uh, expected. He's got a ton of BBRs, yeah. Looks like IQ is still trying to either find the boss or some kind of skip off of one that's not onto floor four. Uh, seems like he's completely uninterested in, in fighting that sentry robot, which the way things went, you know, I don't blame him. Freeze resistant. 
you know, one BBR isn't going to cut it. Ori just kind of happened to get through. Uh, it wasn't luck. He, he definitely DPS his way through, and it was, it was some amount of luck. There's always some luck, but... Oh, hamburger skips. Looks like IQ is making some progress here on floor one. Um, starting to see some winter's enemies. Oh, he's right at the uh, the full heal. Okay. Up our Napoli. Yeah, I get the feeling, yeah, wherever this split is for IQ, he's, he's heading towards the boss for sure. He's in the right direction. Ooh, Threed, that's a big hub. Pencil Racer, nice. Skip item. Uh, that's what's kind of nice about Threed. You have a few gift boxes and, uh, this vendor here, bunch of doors, lots of opportunity. Wow, more BBRs. Yeah, this is Megalocrachia. Okay, nice. Easy TV res for Ori. This floor one just. A little too much going on for IQ. Lots of twists into. Oh, we're back in the foresight. Okay. Jeez. And it's not like he's found much to. Like, you know, maybe he's hoping to find some more BBRs or. You know, just something to help with that robot, but he hasn't really found anything. The fact that it's freeze resistant is just bleh. You just want nothing to do with it. Yeah, okay, so he's been here. He knows the skip. That's what it is. Oh, of course, the boss was right there. Uh, maybe he didn't hit this skip. Interesting. I'm not sure what happened, clearly. I missed something, but uh, I queue on to floor four. We do know that much. Dang, this floor five just has all the hubs. We got threed into Mole Cave. Pretty rough. Or maybe IQ's looking for a skip off of four, or he just goes for this boss. Goes right for it, okay. Toys for everyone. The newsman. Fran, Peps, how's it going? Sorry, I was checking runner chat, making sure everything was, uh... Everything's good. Not that there's anything that would s suggest otherwise, but... Going okay. Um... You know, we're on a decent pace here. Ooh, Vitality Capsule. Pretty, pretty solid for whoever the Prey person is. We haven't figured that out quite yet. Okay, so IQ has not been here before. Okay. Because he would have known it was Floor 4. Uh, BBR, nice. Very good. Uh, and with the size of this Floor 5... Uh, definitely some room for IQ to catch up here if he just takes the right dips and turns. But yeah, this, this floor five is massive. Ooh, couch nap. Good times.
God is banned. Ice tea, less nice. So, uh, I mean, still pretty solid pace for both runners. There's. Floor 5 is ripe with opportunity. Uh, two records is a little rough. Still out of bear, nice. Uh, both these fights are pretty nasty. Nice, IQ getting through. Uh, lightning, very solid choice here with the four enemies. Something you see a lot of in AC. You see a lot of thunder attacks. It's because you end up with these these four packs quite a bit. Name Penny, not bad. So looks like it's the same vein that Ori initially latched onto as well. It might be the only way out of the skip. But, it, I mean, at this point in the floor as a runner, you're kind of just looking to sniff your way through and, and just find a, the boss or skip door. Like, really, that's all you're looking for. Already got a mouse. Ooh, charm corn, nice. Probably set the mouse. Maybe not. Yeah, IQ getting into summers. Ori was here not too long ago. Apollo is pretty nice. Vanilla. Oh, yep, there's that. South Scaraba hub. Or just Scaraba, not South Scaraba. Hmm. Ruler skip? I don't think Ori saw this. Interesting. So IQ is taking some different routes here. Uh, on it's no good, so he'll go right back to 5, I assume. Yeah. Kind of an unfortunate skip there. It's one of those things, it's like, oh, I wish I had found that on floor one. <laughs> like, it would have saved me all this time. Nice room for IQ. This is one of those rooms you love to see on anything past four. You got a save, you got a full heal, you got presence. It's a pretty, pretty great room. Nice place to save. Jeez, so dodgy. What do we got for a player name for IQ? Good luck. Ori. Nice. It's good sportsmanship. Wholesome. And appreciated. Not sure Ori saw this side of Summers. Oh, a carrot key. Interesting. We did see that door. I wonder if IQ backtracks all the way to it. I think it was on floor four. It seems like if if he can remember the way, it's probably worth it. But depending on how far back it is, it might not be. Yeah, looks like he's not going to go for it. Alright, Ori making his way around Mole Cave, which is a small feat in and of itself. A lot of twists and turns and... Ooh, another huge room. Tiny Ruby skip, I'm not sure we've seen this either. Bro, oh jeez. <laughs> That's so frustrating. It's the same skip through on it that we saw on floor one. Nah, no doggo. Um, Nightmare and Starman DX on seven and eight respectively, which is tough, but it's not doggo. Uh, I know Ori has the pencil eraser. I don't think IQ got it. A 
love the frog stutters. They look great when the frogs are stuttering. Little, little half leaps. Nice, a laser gun. Not too shabby. ATM poo and a save here for IQ. Definitely take that. He's made some pretty decent progress. Ooh, and we have the backstage pass too. Okay, another skip journey. Ooh, this is deep too. That is a deep skip. I would assume it's seven, eight. That's definitely not nine, at least from what I gather so far, which isn't much. Yeah, Nightmare can be tough. Uh, if we're on eight here, if we're on eight, it's, oh wow, nice green. It's, it's less bad. Uh, Ori does have most of an inventory of BBRs as well. Uh, so there is that, there they are. Um, pretty tough room for IQ. Giant monkey, Godzilla sized monkey. So I guess King Kong, King Kong monkey. Oh geez. Yeah, that's what's tough about this room is everything whips and you don't. Okay, shiny coin cheesing. Or he could be a rich man, a well defended rich man. I assume he'll, he'll get a bunch of these. It's no MBRs, but it's still cheesable. I didn't get too many, just enough. Just enough to make a little scratch. Uh, but you do, you, <laughs> nice, nice loop. Uh, you do like to see stuff like that in the free shop. Anything that's worth, pretty much anything over six or seven hundred dollars is worth getting a bunch of. Ooh, a cloak, nice. That is very speedy. IQ opting for the reset. That's a good move. Uh, not having to go through that terrible room. Oh, hope, hippie. Hippie, what are you doing in that bathroom? Egg, it doesn't, it looks there's no, no fresh egg. <laughs> Just gonna let that ride. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is he looking for a fresh egg skip? I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, nice. is it? Oh, this is a great grinding spot. Come to think of it. Ooh, these things are scary though. Oh, Ori seems convinced it's nine. Uh, based on this. So that's... I still think it could be eight. Wow. The one person you wanted to survive. He's immediately diamondized. The Skelpian apparently just stuck in a tree up there for IQ. Uh, or he did hit. Oh, there's that pencil eraser. He did hit Mole Cave from here. So I assume IQ finds the same door. Uh, sadly, all these skips that he's found is, have all been backwards, pretty much to the same place. The floor five trap. Not what not what we're looking for. Still super early though. I mean we're still under twenty five minutes. Plenty of time to get out of the floor five trap. Yikes. That's a cracko. None of these fights are good. Though yeah, I think it is floor nine with Krakens. They only spawn on nine, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just we'll go with Ori's instincts on that one. 
Nice, full survival. Got the BBRs. Beautiful. Um, oh, nice. IQ found the BBR vendor, too. Yeah, same one in Threed. Okay, there was another one as well. Uh, but yeah, I can only assume IQ hits a pretty similar path to 9 that Ori has taken. Um... I imagine he'll hit Mole Cave momentarily here, and then eventually find that skip. They're on pretty much the same route. Um, it's just IQ had a tougher time with Floor 1 than Ori did. That's really the main difference here. And it's pretty substantial. Uh, it's going to take a while to get through Mole Cave. Did he find Googie Door? Did I not see it? Ooh, that's a tough red for IQ. He got injured. At least the zombie didn't join. He's pretty beefy too. Nope. Not quite fast enough for the robot. Those hot guys don't mess around. Uh, I still am f fully appreciating the uh, the sprite choices for both runners, opting for mostly creatures, which is pretty great. Um, okay, there's Googie Door. Yeah, so we are nine. What you got, Ori? Why so e early -er eerie where what <laughs> that's some kind of meme that I don't know about man above my head um not really any Pendants so far? Yeah, exactly. Just sort of pretty much. Uh oh, makes sense. That was weird. He's looking, he's looking for pendants. Now it makes sense. Skippy dee. Forty minutes of item gathering, yeah, pretty much. Uh, found Googie pretty fast. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Um, can't remember if we've if Ori has hit this pencil racer skip before. Um, looks like it's backwards for sure, though. Yeah. Oh, jeez, star partied. Yeesh. But uh, yeah, Ori is sniffing out Gygus pretty quick. Unfortunately, he's not really prepared. Uh, I haven't really seen any pendants. He might end up having to skip backwards if he doesn't find anything here. I imagine he checks a lot, if not all of floor 9. Maybe some MBRs in here. Uh, but if he doesn't find anything, maybe we just backtrack to 8. Certainly plenty of time to do that. Um, and no pendants is something both runners would have to deal with. It's not one of those things where you're at, at like a really a disadvantage if you have to go backwards to do pendants because you're assuming your opponent has to do the same thing. Super bombs. Well, that's pretty awesome. Um, 
definitely like to see super bomb vendors on nine. One of those things you, there's a lot of things you hope for in, a, in an ancient cave seed. And this is certainly one of those things on the list is a super bomb vendor somewhere towards nine where you have access to a bunch of money and you know, things to use super bombs on. Uh, but this definitely helps in terms of like what Ori needs to win. Quote unquote go mode, I guess. Go mode in Ancient Cave is kind of weird. There's loose, loose terms typically. There's no like set go mode. Just kind of what you have for that seed. Oh, there's that other BBR vendor. Nice. Oh, he. I, I forgot Ori had all that stuff to sell. So he's basically got infinite super bombs he got all that stuff and stuff in happy happy which i think is still pretty full of opportunity i think there's still a lot Ooh, we're getting a pizza delivery let's go my man with the pizza strats jar of fly honey that's a skip item uh, this is a one-way skip on the other side of the pyramid here for iq this is a nice little spot to find. Um, that full heal acts as a respawn point as well. Uh, or he's gonna have to check this. He, he has to go for every present that we find. It's an unfortunate reality. Wow, just picking on Jeff like that. DX waters are pretty decent. Hot dang. This is pretty terrible. Yeah, the perils of floor 9. On full display. I wonder if IQ... Yeah, okay, he's going for the skip. Uh, this is a one-way skip. It's kind of a do or die. All right, we'll set the exit mouse, so at least there's that. Uh, but at this point, IQ just has to go for every skip. Much like Ori has to go for every present. Uh, IQ is going to have to go for every skip he can see. Uh, I'm not sure where Dungeon Man is. We haven't seen it. Wow, those zombies are no indicator. Hey, a full heal, nice. Not that IQ particularly needs it, but it's cool that it's there. Wow, Ori got out of that one. Diadem, not bad. I know Ori likes to rock them Diadems. Almost a full king set. Just need the sword and we're in. Defense ribbon. Uh, that indicates it's backwards. Ooh, uh, we might see a rip here. Though. Yeah, it looks like IQ is like, yeah, I'm out of here. Defense ribbon. It, it seems like a th floor 3 4 thing. Eraser, eraser, we do not have. We're in a, a tight spot here. One, one alive kid. Two, two, two. Oh, the bubble monkey is attacking. Brain food lunch, no pendant. Uh, yeah, we, we might see a... Or go backwards here to floor eight pretty soon. Oh, nice green. Floor 9 just fruitless completely. Ooh, IQ's got the FF7 door. Hey, double FF7 doors. And <laughs> wow, they both went for it. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I love how they both took it. That's pretty great. You think it would be one 
one or the other, but <laughs> they both took it. And they're on completely different floors, and they both got it at the same time. That's kind of crazed. Yeah, both uh, runners dealing with floor woes. Lightning to the grill. Or he's like, yeah, what do I do? What do I do? You can't run from these things. He's just gonna take a death. Oh, yeah. I'll take my death, please. Sweet release. Take me back to the save. Doesn't like what he's seen so far. Interested to see his play from here. Ooh, crusher beam. Ah, interesting. I didn't know he had set. That's pretty smart. So he says his exit mouse on the full heal. That is some forward thinking stuff. Uh, worked out perfectly for him. Just going for Gygus. Okay. What do we what do we even have for penance? Like nothing? Or are you just gonna go for it? Just take the damages. Pray for no rips. Or maybe maybe he found something worthwhile. I mean it's Ori, like He's, he'll, if anyone's gonna figure out a way, it's Ori to like work a way around this. A, a crappy pendant Gygus fight, or no pendant. Goes for the paralysis. Rabbit's foot. Beta is not ideal. I've seen a lot of betas lately. Uh, so that IQ is skipped forward. At least skip somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, so Ori's got his um, save exit mouse loop set up. This is a really smart play. Um, it's something I've only noticed people... I'm sure people have been doing it for a bit, but um, I've only kind of just noticed it recently. A couple players have done it. And it's really smart. You set your exit mouse on a full heal. Uh, and then find a save and you kind of just have your, your, you know, your save healing loop. Sometimes you get in these bad situations. Where 
like your heel is just not convenient to where you're trying to be so you just set up where you can death warp to your phone save and your exit mouse is set on a full heel at a sink like that uh, definitely a five head ac play All right, round two. Look how we have the robot <laughs> um, sprite. The full, you don't see too many full conversions like that. Uh, yeah, I kind of mentioned earlier the, the sprites and the, uh, the sprite selection in AC is just top notch. I believe I believe Tomar is trying to get custom sprites into Scramble, but it's a work in progress. But uh, yeah, some really awesome sprite work injected into Ancient Cave, a lot of which done by Defcon, which is it's just a ton of, ton of really great work. Oh, IQ got his full heal, nice. Wow, 150s on the BBRs, at least it's something, I guess. We got a rabbit's foot, but... Usually they just outright miss Pokey. So at least there's some damage. PSI Dargan. Oh, 300 is actually pretty good. No heal on Jeff. Unfortunate. Super bombs for all. I think Ori's just hoping to slip through here. Damage it out, do that 2,000 or whatever damage to get Pokey down. Oh, nice stutters from IQ. Nice, there it is, yeah. That's... <laughs> the balloon on the sprite is so good. Hey, what's up, Thomas? Yeah, I don't see any flash resistance. Oh, jeez. Ori with his trusty snake bag. Yeah, what do you, I mean, what do you do here? Yeah, it's, it's rough. Um... Yeah, there's just no pendants. It's rough. So I assume Ori just keeps going for this. Uh, it, it seems like the backtracking plan is off the table. Um, this is definitely tricky. This, this is a tricky spot to be in. Uh, like I said, it Ori can definitely figure it out. Um, I assume the plan is to try to keep Poo up until phase two and Brain Shock? It's really the only hope. Um, pendantless? I mean, people have done it. It's awful, and not a situation you want to be in, but um, also not impossible. Looks like uh, IQ found his way to nine. Nice, and he's in department store, which is interesting. Uh, I don't think Ori saw this part of nine. So maybe IQ st does stumble on some uh, some pendants. The old hypnosis cheese works every time. Alright, so Ori knows he can get to phase two. It's it's possible. Alright, alpha at least. You really gotta assume that this strategy is to keep Poo alive, but then you have monkey. 
even if you brain shot Gygus, the monkey is just gonna screw it up for you. That's actually kind of that's some decent BBR damage. We're we're hitting hundreds early, but the, those four hundreds are pretty solid. Yeah, nice. Okay. Dang, actually, that's kind of crazed. Uh, Pokey's speed must actually be pretty low. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty dirty. Um, and, it, and it's crazy because under the circumstances, it's really Ori's only hope without pendants. Um, Pooh does have a diadem, which is a pseudo pendant. I think it is. Yeah, there's the brain shock. Okay. Yeah, I, I... And... See you, Jeff. No problemo. I, honestly, that's ideal. Of all the people to get hit there. Oh, did it die? I, I thought I saw something go down. Um, I, I thought maybe it was Monkey. I, I, for some reason, I thought Ori had a bear or something. Um... But yeah, the thought had crossed my mind that maybe it was Monkey, and it looks like it is. Um, so yeah, that, that is that is a positive for sure. That Monkey's down. Okay, phase three. Um, once again, Brain Shock. Gonna have to be the savior here. Those life ups queued. Or are you thinking about it? Nice, got a dead turn. That's pretty lucky. Oh, we hit the solidify. Interesting. Maybe that's what it was. It wasn't even a dead turn. Um, I don't want to say too much about this phase three as to not curse Ori, but could have been both. Yeah, true. Uh, I'm gonna try to refrain from saying anything about this phase three. Let's just say that was pretty bad. Um, jeez. So poo feeling strange. The the brain shock went through. That's incredible. Um, the fact that it got off while he was confused is pretty nuts. Um, I mean, not too insane, but definitely lucky. This is kind of why Ori is, is so scary as an AC runner to go up against is that he... He pulls this stuff off, like... Again, I probably cursed him, but... Dang, it's a tough red. A special flag set. Biting IQ in the butt. Uh... That long distance with the monkey. Fanciful lady. So you just, you have to keep those life ups queued, even if he is feeling strange. Um, definitely pretty good turn luck here. <laughs> or he did have a pretty rough insta HP seed. Um, that was tough on everyone. Anyone who ran insta H instant HP just had a horrible seed. Uh, as expected. Alright, one more prayer for Ori. And yeah, he's just gonna... I mean, what a display. Like, just threw it down. Against all odds. Crazy. <laughs> GG. That's insane. 
the, the pendantless sub 50. Hey, there's Defcon. How's it going? Yeah, that, that's Ori for you. <laughs> to a T. If anyone's going to pull that off, it's him, like I said. And he made it look easy. Well, not easy, but. Brain shock for the win, exactly. And the fact that Bubble Monkey went down was definitely huge. Uh, I think that would have been a much different story uh, if Bubble Monkey persisted into phase three. Yeah, definitely. Definitely took a few tries. Well, of course you thought it was fun, Air. You didn't have to run it. Run, run some instant HP seeds. Let me know how fun it is. Um. Oh yeah, crazy craziness. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um. But yeah, I'll kind of go into detail. Oh, there's. Explore eight, boss. Maybe, maybe we go check for pendants. I don't know. I don't know. That's all that matters. Though. Okay, so it's just the floor nine confirmation, I guess, for for IQ. That's very generous. Uh, but yeah, I assume, I mean, I can't say for sure what Ori's game plan was, but the fact that he had that many super bombs, uh, that many effective BBRs with a rabbit's foot and zero pendants, he felt confident enough to just be like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to DPS my way through, just, just steamroll my way through phase one and two and just, and just hope and do the best I can uh, to get through phase three, which it worked out and he played it like a champ. I mean, that was incredible. Um, yeah, exactly. Like Thomas said, it, in, at this point, you just have to go for broke. Um, yeah, it worked out for Ori. Uh, let's see, Ori is the winner. Congrats to the Ori Believers. Uh, it looks like IQ has had enough. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just kind of reading Ori's comments. Uh, race comments. Got to nine very fast. Found a diadem and decided it was good enough. Three attempts on Gygus, but they weren't very time consuming. Oh, and he got Giga Gas. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's tough, IQ. Sub 50 on a pendantless, uh, on a pendantless seat is, whew. Yeah, that's, that's peak Ori for you. Yeah, you're doing pretty decent. Um, you definitely got to nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but by the time you got to nine and you found a good skip into it, what was the robot? I, I missed it. What was the robot you fought early on? Was that the floor four boss or was... Did, I was curious about that. Was that a floor one? Because they're not supposed to show up on floor one. That's why I was kind of confused. Okay, it was floor four. See, I didn't... I completely missed the fact that you had skipped to floor four at that point. I apparently was focused on something else. Um... Okay, because that kind of confused me. I just looked over and you were fighting the boss, uh, the sentry robot. I was like, what the hell is going on? Oh, so there was. That wasn't the... So wait, look at that frog. Frog car is amazing. Oh my goodness. There was. Okay, so that's not supposed to happen. Oh, there was both. Oh, okay. Yeah, the scripted enemies aren't supposed to show up on one, so that's weird. Um, but I guess that's their seed logic. Maybe that got removed or something. 
Um, Chaz might have changed that. I'm not sure. But that's weird. Uh, but yeah, good race. Um, looks like who's Ori gonna. I should have checked this before the race. Ori will be going up against the winner of. Well, we got a few races to go, actually. Oh, it's the gift box room. Congrats, Ori. <laughs> yep, good old arrow, arrow lizard. Both of you had pretty good uh, lineups. Okay, so interesting. I did not know that that the if it's the room with the gift box that can still show up on one. Okay, I didn't know that. It's just the rooms, like the Monitoli rooms, that can't show up. Okay. Right, we, we got the... Okay, so WoW one. Okay, I'm just... I guess the challenge hasn't been uh, updated. But yeah, Ori's gonna go up against the winner of uh, WoW versus Chargles. I think we're still kind of scheduling that one. Why so early wear me pendant? I didn't, I didn't understand that at first because I'm slow. Um, but yeah, Ori, I assumed, correct me if I'm wrong in my assumption, that your strategy pendant list was just, I've got a ton of super bombs, these BBRs are doing pretty decent damage, let me just DPS my way to phase 3, and hope for the best. Oh, do you have volume? Okay. Alright, DDM. Okay, yeah, I, I figured as much with that, too. Oh, you had healing gamma. Okay, that I did not notice. Interesting. Gotcha. Okay, okay. So there was a backup plan. See, that I was not aware of. The, the diadem I had mentioned um, as being a factor. And the brain food lunch. Okay, yep, that makes sense. You had some psychic point res restoration. Okay. So yeah, you, you had some backups in case, you know, Flash does its thing. Interesting. Yeah, super smart. Um, I mean, that's how you handle pendant lists for sure. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, feel free to cut stream. Um, I'll probably send the host out soon. Uh, good race. Thanks for, thanks for joining the tournament IQ. Uh, we hope to see you again for sure. Um, congrats to Ori moving on. Um, I was hyped to see a lot of the scramble runners join Ancient Cave. Um, well, yeah. Let's see, what do we got here? Who is Strim Strammin? Do, 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 do. Stand out the host, e toast. Let's host Peen. We'll host Peen Train. Peen's a boogie percent runner. Um, great streamer. Definitely deserves the views, so let's go hang out with Peen. Uh, thanks for hanging, y'all. Uh, I think Ari said in the next race, potentially Friday. Hopefully we'll get a restream coverage on that. Um, be sure to check out the channel. Thanks everybody for hanging. Hope you've enjoyed the races. Uh, have a great night. Enjoy peen. Uh, see you later.